Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to review this uh, Amazon Fire TV stick. I will try to cover everything in this video. If I miss anything, you can put it in the comment section. I will try to answer. So let's start. The use case of this device is, with this device, you can convert your normal TV into a smart TV. That means you can connect to internet, you can connect to Wi-Fi, and then run all the modern apps like YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hotstar, etc. Now this device is kind of a mini computer. It has everything built inside it. It has a Wi-Fi, it has the OS, it has the app, it has a processor, it has a memory. Everything is inside it. So you can connect it to any TV. It doesn't matter which TV you have. You can have an Android based TV, Linux based TV or a WebOS based TV. It doesn't matter because it doesn't depend on that. It has everything built inside it. All you need is an HDMI port. If your TV is having HDMI port, then you can also use this device. Uh, from your TV, it uses only the display and the speaker and the HDMI port. So all you need is an HDMI port. If you have that, then you can also use this device. Okay, now let's see which all things they have given in this package. So the first thing is you will get this uh, Amazon Fire TV stick, which has this HDMI port. Then you get this uh, HDMI to HDMI extension. See, you can plug in this stick directly into the HDMI port, but it will be very close to the TV and the Wi-Fi signal may not be that strong. So if you use this extension, then your stick will be hanging in the air and the Wi-Fi signal will be stronger. Now next is the power supply. See, as we know that the HDMI doesn't handle the power, it handles only the uh, audio video. So for the power, you need separate cable. So this is the cable and this is a port. Okay. Now, if you see this cable, this is USB based cable. So if you are having the USB port in your TV, then you can uh, then you can supply the power using the USB cable but when you do that in that case you will get a warning message it will say that the power supply is insufficient and you can obviously feel the lag and the change in the graphics okay so they have given a proper adapter so you should consider using this adapter okay now last thing is the remote control and the batteries for this so the batteries were already included I have already inserted inside it so those are normal AAA type battery easily available in the market uh, with this remote you can control your TV also you can see the power button so you can turn on and turn off your TV with this also and it has a volume up and down button my point is you don't have to use a separate TV remote to operate this fire TV stick okay you can do many of the TV function like volume up down and mute and power on and off with this remote also okay and it has many other buttons now the main thing is it is Alexa based remote so you can see this mic and as we know that the Alexa supports too many voice commands so you can open the app with a voice command you can exit the app with a voice command you can search something within the app with the help of voice command volume up volume down scroll left scroll right all those things you can do with a command and uh, this remote is not the only thing there is a smart app also Alexa based smart app which you can download from the play store Let's see the connections quickly. Uh, so this is the Amazon Fire TV stick and this is the HDMI to HDMI extension and this is the port I'm using. So you have three ports, HDMI 1, 2, 3 and these are the USB ports. So I'm using the third HDMI port for the Amazon Fire TV stick and the first one I'm using for the Tata. This is the power supply which is coming from the normal AC source, this one. So you saw the connections, the connections are very simple, okay. And the configuration is also very simple. See when you turn on the Fire TV stick for the first time, it will ask you for the configuration. And the configuration is just about three things. Uh, one is the language selection, you have to select the language. And the second thing is the Wi-Fi, you have to select the preferred Wi-Fi and the password for that, okay. You have to keep that ready. And the third thing is the Amazon login account. Uh, if you have Amazon login account, then you can log in. Otherwise you can skip that also. So once you configure these three things, then you're all set to use the Fire TV stick, okay. Okay, now let's turn on the Fire TV stick and uh, let me show you the home screen how it looks. Okay, so this is the remote, uh, the Fire TV stick remote. Uh, by the way, what they're claiming is this remote may not be compatible to all the TVs. In my TV, it is working the power on and off and the volume button, everything is working. In your case, if it doesn't work, then you have to use your TV remote. Okay, in my case, it works so I can power on with the with this remote. So I just turned on. So you see right now the Tata Sky is running which is on HDMI 1. Uh, this is my TV's configuration. Wherever I left last, it will start from that. Last time I was watching HDMI 1, so it is starting with the HDMI 1. Now I have to switch to HDMI 3 where, where I have plugged in my Fire TV stick. Okay. And for that I cannot do with this remote. I have to use my TV remote. Let's do it. Uh, so this is my TV remote. I have to select the, I have to press the input and select the right input. Uh, see, 
So you see this is a list of all the inputs the HDMI 1, 2, antenna, USB 1, 2, 3 all those kinds of inputs are visible here so I have to select the HDMI 3 so this is the HDMI 3 and OK now you see the Fire TV stick is running ok now let's try some voice commands open YouTube here's YouTube movies from Salman Khan getting that from YouTube scroll right go back go back go to home Salman Khan movies in prime video getting Salman Khan movies from fire tv exit prime video now some of the cool features in this fire tv stick are uh, it has a parental control so if you are having the kids so you can enable the parental control uh, it supports the mobile mirroring so you can start the mirroring by going to the setting and then you can cast the content from your mobile okay it has a bluetooth support and it has a browser support so you can browse the internet you can log into your email account facebook instagram anything now let us understand the home screen of amazon fire tv stick so this is the home screen uh, the first row shows the recent items the apps that you opened and the content that you are watching from Amazon Prime videos okay uh, the second row will show all the apps that you have installed okay now the third row onward it will show the content from almost all the apps not only from the Amazon Prime videos it will show content from other apps also for example Netflix Hotstar if you don't have the subscription of those apps then obviously you will not be able to watch those content and that's true for Prime videos also if you don't have the subscription of Prime videos you will not be able to see that content okay and also there is a shortcut home button on the remote so it doesn't matter where you are right now you can be in any app you can just play the home button and all the apps will exit and, and you will land on the home screen and on the top you can see the menus right now we are in the home on the left side there is a search button okay if you want to search something by typing then you can go there although that's not needed because Alexa remote it does everything with the voice command okay uh, after the home there is a movies and TV shows so this will list the content from only from the prime video see if you do a blind search on the home screen then it will list down content from all the apps let's say you are looking for a movie then it will try to find the movies in all the apps okay but uh, this movies menu and the TV shows menus that's for the Amazon Prime videos only if you want to watch the content from other apps then you have to open that app and then watch the content uh, the next menu is the apps so apps is like a play store it will list down all the possible apps there are hundreds and thousands of apps available now when you go to the setting setting has a lot of content uh, in the setting you can change the preferred language uh, by the way the preferred language is always Indian English see there are three type of English available US English UK English and Indian English if you choose the Indian English then only you will be able to comfortably use this Alexa remote if you use the US and the UK then it won't understand the accent okay and in the setting it will also has a lot of features for example screen mirroring uh, see you can mirror the content from your mobile to this Amazon Fire TV stick okay and that feature can be accessed from the setting setting will list down all the apps that you have installed so you can go to the apps which you have installed and you can uninstall also uh, one more interesting thing is the Bluetooth so this Fire TV stick supports the Bluetooth also uh, you can go to the settings and uh, connect the device okay if you do that then you can listen to the audio onto the Bluetooth headphone so without disturbing anybody else around you can listen to the audio okay and about the storage so when I installed it first it was having about 4 GB available space so with the 4 GB we can easily install 30 or more apps one app takes about 100 MB along with its cache data okay so with 4 GB available space we can install 30 or more apps. so all those things the screen mirroring the Bluetooth setting the language setting the storage setting the already installed apps everything is in the settings okay and now I would like to share my usage experience uh, we have been using it for about one month and we are absolutely satisfied uh, this is a flawless masterpiece it doesn't have any lag it works super smooth and this uh, fire tv stick is a full hd one there is one more ultra hd this one is only full hd my tv is also full hd and as claimed it is giving the full hd video and also it has a dolby audio so the audio quality is also good so overall i can say just one thing 
this is absolutely worth it absolutely value for money device so that's it for this video if you like this content please hit the like button and do subscribe my channel for more such videos thank you